Good evening. It's day 14, Saturday, May 14, 2022. Acts chapter 1, verse 8. But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you. And you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the earth. Can you imagine how impossible this promise must have felt to those who first heard it? How could they be witnesses to the ends of the earth when few of them had been or had even even been outside of Judea? Even with all our technology and the entire world at our fingertips, it seems daunting. In our own power, we know it is impossible. But Jesus promised them his power. So instead of focusing on their small numbers, lack of resources, or societal marginalization, they went to the upper room and joined together constantly in prayer. Acts chapter 1 verse 14. Until the Holy Spirit's power came at Pentecost. Filled with the Holy Spirit, and united around the mission of Jesus, this little band of Christ followers witnessed to the love of God through their words and deeds. Today, as recipients of their faithfulness, we are invited to join them in committed prayer where we can receive Christ's power for witness and where we can participate in the fulfillment of this promise in our generation, in our own generation. Today's prayer, Jesus, renew our commitment to prayer and our passion for your presence and power as we seek your heart, listen for your voice, and respond in obedience to your will for our generation. Our prayer journal reflections if you can answer this question, what is the Holy Spirit saying to you? Saying to you today about the Lord's protection, direction, and revelation for your life and the life of the church, specifically LA Fieldness. Thank you. God bless you.